Tubers. So we did finish our little watch. Um, I don't know what to call these covers. Um, I don't know if it's a cover or if it's a, um, gosh, uh, you know, uh, armor skin. Um, the day I bought the watch, bought this watch, I went on eBay and I found a seller who makes films um, for the Santos. As you know, the polished bezel is very much a scratch wag, scratch magnet, and um, I wonder, I, you know, I don't like scratches on my watches. Some people are okay with it. I'm very careful how I wear my watches, and I, I like to keep them pristine as much as possible, if not forever. So. <clears throat> Let me explain to you. I actually went ahead and made a video where I sat down and I, you know, applied the film and applied the, you know, the whole bezel protection thing and da 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 da, -da and um, and then I didn't really realize it, but when I put it, when I put the video up, a viewer <laughs> left a comment saying, "You might want to." <laughs> take your address off or erase the yeah I, I actually had the whole packaging like sitting here like this and I had it all like displaying my whole address and stuff which um, I was not very comfortable with so I went ahead and deleted, deleted the whole video um, this film thing is made by Film King Korea um, they make this um, and they sell it for about $150 a piece um, in their description, it says that they come. It comes with about six, um, six sets, or I'm sorry, three sets of uh, film. Um, here, you get some instructions on how to put it in, put it, put, uh, how to how to apply it. It comes with everything you need. It comes with with a, with a set of plastic tweezers, along with a squeeze a spray bottle. You get you actually get two sets of those. You get two spray bottles and two tweezers and two microfiber cloths. Um, which does come in quite handy. Now, this is the empty bag, and these are the sets of decals that it came with. Um, they are very, very um, complete, um, all the way down to the link sides, as well as the faces and every single aspect of the watch including the underside so I know that you can't really see any of it right now because I've already used it I've already used most of it to actually apply the, the uh, protection film the protection film it goes to actually apply the sapphire crystal there's application for this the bezel, the crown guard, and the surround, as well as the polished bevel. Um, there's a polished bevel here, here, and one along the side here, on the corner here, and it actually covers that as well. And the sides, as well as the link faces, um, and the link sides on both sides. Um, the Cartier, Cartier logo, um, flap over piece along with they even give you ones for here here I mean basically the whole complete watch including the underside here 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 everywhere um, and the and the case back so it's a um, it's basically a full body armor um, now Although they said that they give you three sets, it actually came with, let me zoom out of here a little bit for you so you get a better view. It comes with one, two, three, four, and five. Um, it comes with five of these. Um, 
since I'm reshooting the video, it, I feel very redundant, but in your case, this may be the first time you're watching this video, so um, I'm gonna try and explain everything as I can. Um, before we go any further, I do want to do a quick dram check here. I know a lot of people do other checks, uh, wrist watch, wrist checks and whatnot, whatnot. Uh, but this is one of my very favorites, Johnny Walker Blue Label. And this is the Year of the Tiger. This is a 46% ABV, 750 milliliters. And check out the bottling on this. It is gorgeous. And the bottle itself has, it's, it's blued. It's not a clear bottle like normal. It's blued. And it tastes just like the regular blue, but more robust, has more flavor. It's, 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 the nose is wonderful on it. It's thicker, um, it's oily. It's, um, it's got a great mouthfeel. It is absolutely one of my very, very, very favorites. I do know and I do understand that it, this is a blend. And I am one to not discriminate between blends and blends or single malt so now here we're gonna go ahead and do some close-ups of what we got okay so I don't know if you could tell from what I had where I where I had the watch a minute ago but you really couldn't tell I really can't tell with the naked eye whether there's a sheet of plastic over this bezel or not when you close it up like this you can actually see some, I'm gonna back it up just a tad so you guys can, so you can see it a little bit better, a little bit more focused, not as, not as grainy. But as you can see around the screw heads, there's a little cutout like that, and it does cover the whole thing. Now, when it's zoomed in like this, you can see that there's a film on here. And you can also see that there, you can see a little smudging from the oils on my hands and whatnot, whatnot. But to the naked eye, when you're looking at it, when it's on the wrist, it's very difficult to see. Here, all the way around the corner. There's a film there. There's a film here. Initially, I just put it on the bezel. I didn't want to put it on everywhere, but I got bored <laughs> and then I put it everywhere. And um, all in all, actually, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent on board with it, but just to be fair, you can, Give me a second here. Let me let down these lenses just a little bit so it focuses a little bit better. Hmm. There we go. As you can see, there's this little film right there. There's a little cutout. There's an open space right there, and it wraps around like that. And comes around and then wraps around the screw heads. Now I didn't think that they would look so good because this is brushed. Um, and over, right over the Cartier symbol here, um, you can hopefully see that, well, maybe you can hopefully not see that there is a plastic sheet or decal over this and everywhere else. This is a wet application. You wet your watch, you wet your film, and 
you apply it and then you move it around, shift it around and get it right into position and you let it dry out. Um, on the wrist, I actually had put protection decals right all along here on the inside, just like they had provided. But what I realized that is that when you close up the clasps, it doesn't really close up. It makes things a little tighter. It makes tolerances a little tight. So it doesn't clasp and click in like it's supposed to. Um, you have to really push at it. And also right now with the nine links and the 10 links, this watch is super comfortable. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect. However, when I put these decals on the inside on the buckle and along, along the other side of the case back, it made the watch tighter. So it made it just so tight enough that it was, um, just a bit too tight. Um, and so I decided to take all these guys off despite the fact that it does create some scratches on the under underbelly of the watch here on the third link on either side because of the clasp. Um, as you can see there on the third link, you can actually see a couple scratches. That's from the link, that's from the, the butterfly clasp, clasping over and hitting right there as it flexes. So this, although it does that, I decided I still don't want it and I'd rather have it fit nicely and perfectly and it's nice and snug with a little bit of movement. So initially I wanted to just do these, but after I put on a couple, just to see what they look like. And um, you can hardly tell that they're there. It, it literally just disappears. I mean, look at it. You can, oh, can you tell from this light, from this angle, from this distance? I don't think so. Um, so even if you do screw up, you have four more packages that you can lay back onto and over time it may yellow as plastic film you know often does with uv they do have a tendency to yellow i don't know if this one will but if it does it's very easy to take off and place back on now i don't know if you can see here but you can see these links these are the these are for the size that i have not used but they have cutouts on them so that you can have um the spring bars pop out without having to, like that one right there, for example, as you can possibly see. So if you wanted to wrap this whole watch, I think you can, but um, there is a bit of a texture issue. So when you glide your hand over the watch, you can feel, you know, where the cuts are. You can feel there's, it's, it's a bit scratchy. It's not as smooth to the touch, um, like around here, when you run your fingers across there, it used to be a nice, seamless, smooth transition between link to link, but now you can feel the edges of the plastic or the, the stickers or the decals or protection film all over the watch. So it does take away from that. However, uh, with that said, the big plus side is that I can actually lay down my watch on any surface and even move it around on a, on, a, on a quartz top here. I know that at least it's not getting scratched up like big time. Um, it may not protect it from big, huge smashes um, if you're walking by somewhere and you catch an edge of a rock or something and you just, uh, who knows, maybe it'll just go right through it. But uh, often than not, these films are considered to be super resilient. They are originally, they were originally designed for helicopter blades to protect the helicopter blades from scratches and hitting things and whatever, whatever. I don't know why helicopter blades would need such a film, but that's, I, from what I understand, that's where it came from. Um, they are very exact on the fit. They fit beautifully. Uh, I mean, there's, you can, I mean, look, you can hardly tell that there's any kind of film on here. And 
the fact that they give go to the lengths to protect these little tiny little bevels these bevel this bevel is tiny we're talking about a millimeter thick maybe two millimeters thick on the bevel he beveling here but there is a separate piece that goes around on on the bevel as well as a separate piece for the flat section next to the bezel and a separate piece for the side so after completely covering the watch in this protective plastic um i'm i'm pretty satisfied i, I was i was I was skeptical, to be honest with you. I didn't think, I, I thought I wouldn't like it. I thought, I thought that uh, things would show and it would be, it would look clumsy, it would look dirty, um, it would look plasticky. But, I mean, it shows the brushing and you can clearly define, you see the defined detail between polished and, well, the, the brushed metal does lose its, its flatness a little bit it does shine a little bit more but the polishing still shows through fairly well and um i'm gonna rock it like this for a little while a little bit and see how things turn out see if this isn't see if this is the way to go it may who knows maybe in a month or so when everything if, if dust gets caught in between there or dirt or whatever it may be that may get caught under there you may start seeing marks or the linear like uh, separation lines where the lines were, um, you may see some of that, and I may remove it. But it was very easy to remove um, the parts that I had removed, so I don't have. A, I don't think it's going to be a problem taking this taking this off. But in the meanwhile, it's it is definitely going to protect that bezel from micro scratches. Um, if you're interested in something, if you're interested in doing this to your watch I and if you don't like scratches I would highly strong I would highly recommend it um, before you do so I might suggest going over this and polishing up the bed polishing up the bezel with a little bit of polish um, you know it doesn't take a lot to polish this out um, um, I've gone as high as as far as even this one, this one right here, this is a Meguiar's um, <laughs> all metal polish. This is actually an automotive polish, but it's very creamy and it's soft enough to polish out the stainless steel. Um, I did have a small hairline scratch that went across here. It was brand new and it had a scratch from the boutique. I brought it out from the boutique. The boutique, the girl that was selling it to me, she was... She saw something and she rubbed her hands over it and, and then she gave it to me. And then when I brought it home, I noticed there was a arc of scratch right across there. Um, I took that polish and a little microfiber cloth and polished it out and it disappeared. Um, so it does work. Um, you know, don't use too much of it, you know, but um, because you may, because I don't know if you understand, but um, a lot of these flat surfaces, um, these are not hand polished. These, well, they could be hand polished, but most of the time it's not by using a polishing wheel or anything like that. Because what happens is the flatness goes away. It, it's impossible to keep it regularly regulated and keep it nice and flat. The way they do this and on flat surfaces, flat surfaces or straight and flat surfaces, it's called lapping. So they lap this with a lapping tool and, um, polishing compound and then they lap it that's the only way to get a flat surface polished out like and make it look like what it what it looks like now um and that's why when you when something shines on it it shines like a mirror and um and sometimes if it's not done right um you'll it'll shine the whatever it's reflecting it'll shine off in a irregular pattern it'll have a slight wave to it um so be careful and make sure that you're working the amount of polishing from end to end. And another thing to be careful about is when you do polish things out, um, try not to get too much stuff inside the screw heads and the corners. It's very difficult to get it out. And if it dries up there, it's going to be there for a while until you get in there with like a needle 
uh, like literally like a sewing needle and you scrape things out with a very sharp point. Um, when things dry out, that's when, that's when things go bad. All right, so anyway, I'm starting to ramble just a bit here. Um, another sip of my dram. I'm sorry the other video went away. It was a pretty decent video, but um, it is what it is. I can't be announcing my address to the whole world, right? So anyways, yeah, check it out. That's the vid. Toodaloo.